People tell me that I'm crazy. Hi everyone. Are you ready? Welcome. <laughs> so I can't life. do I actually like cannot do Okay, so I just want to start off with the obvious. Um, Dom, did you see Maddie's Instagram story today? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no. First, I'm going to give you the chance to explain yourself. Where were you at about 10 a.m. today when you gave me a little ring? <laughs> Are we talking about here? Oh, I know you didn't call her. <laughs> I know you didn't call her. Girl, explain yourself. You, to, uh, no, I keep all her at 10 a.m. because I needed I needed her nail shape and- No, 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 no. But more important than that, where specifically <laughs> were you at 10 a.m. on what's today's date? I was in nail anyway, but you know what? I, and, got, and, uh, I got my mans this time. No, 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 I no. I called no. ahead. Dom, would you like to refresh the listener's memory? I don't. No, if y'all know <laughs> what she is referring to, this is Shrek nails. This is where Shrek <laughs> nails were done. I missed them. I think I need to do. I mean, honestly, I'm so desperate. My nails are so outgrown that maybe I might have to do a repeat. No, no, no. no. no level of desperation. You know what? Like I just figured out right when you said that. I think it clicked, and I think that this also um, results in my relationships with giving. People's second, third, fifth chances. That's uh, so true. Um, it's not only relationships and it's people. It's, it's everything. It's everything, yeah. and especially with nails. Take me, Maddie. I'm, I'm similar that way. Screw me over. Like, okay, let's go back. Why not? <laughs> Red flags. Okay, I'm, I'm in. I'm Perfect. In. <laughs> Red flags. Yes. My Did time. me dirty. So yeah. 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 Did me dirty. Let me tip. <laughs> them good yes mm -hmm. yeah very so, familiar very familiar very familiar with okay. i do need i wanted to go to your lady i'm sorry i need to just like no i'm just saying start making nail appointments though because if i'm last minute and i had time like today i like went in right before work but i need this to be a survey are you an appointment nail girl or a walk-in i'm a walk-in walk -in. okay i'm such a walk-in girl but i had the same nail lady for five six years so like it hurts you mm -hmm. know like mm -hmm. i would go to her house we were BFFs. We used to work together, and she also gave me that little, little discount. So, like, you know, when I texted, <laughs> when I texted her to make my next appointment one day, and she said that she had officially stopped taking clients. You know, I was happy for her and her children, it's but heartbreak. I kind of wanted. I did cry probably, but you know what? We're past it. I live in Dallas now. I need to find someone. So okay, well, I'm happy to hear that. Um, I want to transition into what this episode is about. I just had to get that out of the way yeah. to start things off. Yes, I'm it was disappointing. My own flesh and blood, by the way. But it's fine. I'm used to the disappointment. Anyways, oh. I would. I want us to talk a little bit about Hot Girl Summer. I feel as though let's talk about it. It's a really exciting time in our lives. This for, is our first time participating. What? In Hot Girl Summer. Every summer is Hot Girl Summer. Every summer. Yeah. But I don't Wait. think I fully embraced it. Oh, I, we're fully embracing it because Liz I don't think so either. Thank yeah, you. fair. I'm like, wait, I got my ex <laughs> I took my ex for last summer. Yeah. Okay, fair. It exactly happens when they come home from the summer in my I, stance. Yeah, that's so true. Not oh, anymore. I've been cuffed the past few That's why I was like, shut the hell yeah. up, Kenzie. I'm okay, like, but Hot Girl Summer to me has nothing to do with my relationship I've status. I've never really been cuffed. It has everything to do with the relationship status. It really has nothing to do with it for me. We all have different stances. We're gonna talk about. Hot I'm girl in a relationship. No, I'm not. It's hot girl summer. What do you mean? No, it's not even that. It's just that like I can have a hot girl summer and have a boyfriend. Do, am I choosing to okay, do that this year? No. Yeah, but you're talking about a different hot girl summer than I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. And we all have. It's a spectrum. It's a spectrum okay. Well. So what level are we on the spectrum? Well, that's like, what I want to know. I want to know what hot girl summer means to both of you individually. Dom, please. I want to feel like you should start. I want to pay homage really quick. To our girl Megan the Stallion. I don't know if you guys are up to date with what happened today on Instagram, but she said she was going into hibernation and her management team is taking over. And everyone in the comments was like, Megan, what? Like, I don't know. We're really in dire times. She can't. Is she going now. into hibernation until Hot Girl Summer? Is that why she's doing that? No, she's saying she was in hibernation until further notice. We don't know when she's coming out of hibernation. We is don't she know. Okay. We don't know. Oh. What this means, but it was okay. I, I don't know if they're promoting an album. I don't know what's happening, but all I know is Maggie, Maggie, I'm in your city, girl. Who's to stand up? I mean, I'm in Dallas, but you know, I might as well be in who's stand up, okay? I'm a stallion, I got my boots laced up for hot girl summer. I'm a soldier, hottie summer. I'm a hottie, I'm a hottie ready to go. I love that. I feel like 
She shouldn't be able to leave this right before Hawk Girl Summer. No, I feel like she's hibernating for Hawk Girl Summer. That would make a lot of sense, and I I honestly would But it was a a very vague message. Everyone was concerned in the comment section today. Okay, Okay, Dom, so what does Hawk Girl learn? Pregnancy thing. Oh. I'm just saying. Conspiracy. Hey, Maddie, yeah, don't worry. Feel free to take a call in the middle of this. I think it's one one of the people on the roster, you know? (laughs) Oh, okay. We're going to get to rosters soon, since you guys are full-blown psychos at this point. But, Dom, what does Hot Girl Summer mean to you? Hot Girl Summer means, like, let it all out. If you want the 30-inch weave, get the 30-inch weave. If you do a box braid this summer. Come to me. Yes, go get your weave done by Maddie. Don't be deceived. She can do it. And yes, and it's just, if you want the weave, you want the braids, no makeup, only eyelash extensions. I mean, every boy is buying this. We are not buying one drink this summer. My, my pocket's going to stay fat this summer. I'm not buying a single drink. You will not, the only charge you will see on my card is nails and lashes and hair. Nails that is done, it. hair done. That is <laughs> it. <laughs> and done. online order. That is it. That is what Hot Girl Summer is all about. And it's reminding men where their place is. Hot Girl Summer to me is just that I'm going to do like whatever I want to do. At any given time, any given point. I'm going to achieve a level of inner peace that I've never experienced before. And do you want to know why? It's because... There's not going to be one, they can be on my Instagram. I will not give one boy my number. They will not be contacting me. They will not be texting me. They will not be calling me. They will not be FaceTiming me. Nothing. This level of inner peace that I will be achieving is Mm. everyone's going to be jealous. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I have like two polar opposite um, ideas for the summer. Yes. That's that's speaking to me. That's speaking to me. Maddie? See, you guys' responses have put a lot of stress on me. Um, I haven't really thought that far in... uh, (laughs) I did that on the spot. I, it's always kind of the same for me. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say, buddy, you know, hot girl summer for you, Camille. Business as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Business okay. as usual. Um, but this this summer, I feel like it's time to take a step up. You know, like really, okay. like don't put myself out there. Put myself out there, but like don't let anyone like have me you know like yeah, yeah. you know what exactly there is there is something about hot girl summer and on one end like, like i'm here and i'm there but i'm not yours you know yes yeah, so there's like 15 people involved yeah but they're not actually involved but so they think that they're involved people. it's like how maddie and i keep people in a around where they think that they're there and that they're in that's so terrible but it couldn't be further from the truth mm. that's really yeah. bad mm. it's not bad it's just like a level of like it's just not for ourselves. <laughs> it's not even that. It's like a level of boundary with people. Boundaries. You know, yeah. that's something I'm I really like spun that on. Boundaries. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really good at them. So currently Dom is killing it on Hinge. She has quite the roster. She's four deep right now. She's beating Maddie. I am so uninterested and emotionally unavailable for a roster. So I'm really just living vicariously through you two. Honestly, I'm going to take you up on that one because... Same sense. <laughs> but here's the thing. You're emotionally unavailable, and you will just, like, have them, straggle them along. Like, you will be like, no, listen. and I even had a talk with one of them yesterday, and we finally had a talk. And really? Finally? He, after four months of talks? Times, I didn't know it was four months. That's insane. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> told him and this time he says that he had expectations last time and he doesn't have any this time so uh, so you've beat him down to that <laughs> point to where he no longer has expectations Jesus, I wouldn't say that down. I just think that he understands how mentally ill I am no, this <laughs> is my favorite part about Maddie is how emotionally aware she is it's like there's this oh, other emotionally unavailable I am no, but there's this other person that I love and adore and would like love for Maddie to marry tomorrow and Maddie goes Kinsey I can't date anyone. I'm way too emotionally unstable. And you know what? I actually really respect that. And I just don't want to bring anyone down with me. No one deserves that. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to Dom. Back to Dom. Yeah, Maddie's, well, Maddie's this crying. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, but Dom really matched with this original. one. It really is. Dom matched with this one specific guy. Um, yes. So take it away. Yes, you guys. So you know, like I said, stallions, saddle up. It's haughty summer. And yes, so I matched with this one guy and I put my detective cap on, you know, us girls, we detectives. So I turned into law and order. Let me do some investigating. And so I, you know, found his Instagram and he was already following me. 
but not only just following me, but he was also following The Uncomfortable, which is like my podcast, everything else we do, our collaborations and stuff, but wasn't following Quentin, who does The Uncomfortable with me, so I was like, okay, no, you a stand, you a stand, okay? You a stand. So I was like, I need to find a way to bring this up without bringing it up and without exposing myself. So. You know the TikToks and the memes where it's like, when you're mad because you found something but you can't explain to him how you found something, so you just don't, that's <laughs> like pretty much it, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. So whatever, we're texting, a couple days go by, and he sends me some artwork that he made, and I was like, oh my gosh, bam, gotcha, way. I'm gonna I'm bring it up. And I go, oh, cute, uh, do you post this on Instagram? Instagram, y'all. And so he's such a fast, like he replies so fast. So fast. But this time it took him a second. Like he was typing for a second. I was like, okay, this is be a little novel. Like you're gonna tell on yourself? No. He just responds, yeah, I just posted it. So I knew, ooh, he unfollowed me. I go check Instagram, he unfollowed me. But where he messed up, okay, where he messed up was he was still following the podcast page. And I was like, ooh, I caught him. And this guy already following me, it was it wasn't a red flag, it was a pink flag. Yeah. Pink flag. Which I just wanna know. I've never heard the whole pink flag like scenario like No, but you, you don't even about? try to cover yours, it's just straight up red flags. Okay. No. What? I but was just term. saying I like the term pink oh, flag. Pink flag. Like, like I've it's, never it's heard not flag. Like, I feel like we should, you know, bring that to like more normalized of a pink flag. Yeah, normalized yeah, pink normalized flags. Flag. Where you're allowed to have a few pink flags. <laughs> I, I text him. I, you know, I keep the conversation going because I know I got him panicked, girl. I got him shaken. So I, I keep the conversation going. And then I go randomly out of the blue. Wait, what's your Instagram? Gives it to me. I follow him. He follows me. I comment on his artwork. And then I go, wait, do you listen to my podcast? <laughs> Answer up. Answer. Answer. So he goes, Sends me a voice memo explaining himself. But it, I will say his voice memo killed it. He killed didn't it. Just, and he it. got straight to the point. He said, yes, and also like funny story, I actually followed you on Instagram and I literally just unfollowed you because I didn't know how to handle that and go He's about like, it. I panicked. I panicked. Like, he literally said he panicked. And I was like, honestly, that was really cute. It was really cute. And he doesn't really listen to our podcast. He doesn't listen yeah. to that. So red flag. It was pink, <laughs> now it's red. So girls, I wish that we had Alyssa here. Unfortunately, she has a job that's, you know, more traditional speaking. She's actually doing the opposite of Pop Girl Summer right now. Actually, I don't think that's the case. I don't. I just received a text, but we don't have to go into that on air. What I do want to say is yeah. that this summer is monumental. This summer is bigger and better than any summer before for a multitude of reasons. One, it's Hot Girl Summer, and as we have come to find out, I have not been single for summer in years at this point. Maddie, um, it's business as usual. Business cash. <laughs> yeah. Um, our cousin Alyssa, who is not here with us, is also single. We she have never be joining us this summer. We have never all three been single before ever. In but it's all four of us now. I've I've been single. <laughs> but you see, this is where things have changed a little. I was a traditional single, reserved. Waiting to find myself. And now the ball's in my court. I am charging up like a stallion into Hot Girl Summer. Don't, I will be leading the charge, okay? Yeah. My roster has already started. We'll get into that later. But I just want to let you ladies know I'm in. All the way. In it to win it. All in it to win Hot yeah. Girl Summer. Yes. I think there's there's a lot of different approaches that you can have to Hot Girl Summer. Yes. I personally, I don't have the emotional capacity to entertain anyone that I am not completely in love with and obsessed with. So like that's clearly not going to happen. Um, at least Monday through Friday. Like I think yes. there's the people that you see out, but like don't you know what I'm saying? I 100 percent agree with that. And like, see, even like <laughs> one on my roster, like he tries to text, and I can't even do that. Like, mm. it's not something that I want to do. It's not something I'm interested in. Hot Girl Summer is about me. Yeah. Yes. And yes. it's about, about me, doing... and only about me. So, so exactly, business as usual for Maddie. Um, I just don't think. I, 
for me, I'm just gonna do whatever I want to do. It's yeah, just gonna be I an incredible summer. Agree. Two of my closest friends are moving back to the city. I mean, I am really. My plans for the summer have never been. They have never come with such anticipation. I think about it like the beginning of a movie, like Paramount Pictures, where it goes dun dun dun. You know, like it's wow. the beginning of summer, like. Yeah, wow, I love that, Maddie. That it's was really good. been going on in my head like for like probably 20 minutes That's now. a beautiful yeah. picture. She's been waiting to say that, I can tell. <laughs> She's been like thinking it in her head. Like, you know when someone's talking to like, I can't forget to say this, I can't forget to say No, I have something Maddie. earlier that, that just popped up. Like, <laughs> Let me paint like, a picture. Let me paint a picture for what, you know, you, you saying Paramount pictures really spoke to me and I think you know mine would have a little twist like on the mountain, it would like zoom in on me. You know, it's like Paramount, the stars. The mountain. Zoom in on the you mountain. Are the star. Yes, I'm yes. But zoom in on the mountain and it's me. Face down. Ass <laughs> up. <laughs> Peach Bellini. Can we do a green Jordan screen? Jordan Woods posts one Instagram photo with a Peach Bellini and Dom will not shut up about this Peach Bellini. Everywhere we go, I she goes, don't do you have Peach Bellini. I don't care. Because I will have a peach bellini and a frozen marg from the Rustic. No, I was going to say, catch me Monday through Friday at the Rustic with a frozen marg, Grand Marnier float. That's what's Wait, happening. I'm not kidding. Can we do a green screen with the Paramount picture thing for our freaking cover? Could you, what cover? I don't know. Let's make a cover and we'll do a green screen and we're all going to be standing on top of that freaking mountain. Because Yeah, we'll try yeah. our best. We'll try our best. <laughs> We'll try it. We have a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, we're not really. Uh, I, I pay you to do this, and if you guys want to see it, please. I would actually yeah. love to. You know, I would love for you to take that over. I also, I want to give you guys a little bit of, of what I found to be the cure to depression. Tell and us. I'm gonna get specific, okay? Hinge literally could not be the opposite, like more of the opposite of the cure to depression. I Have you really been so on that app? It's depressing. It is so bad. It's, that it's terrible. If but... anything, Hinge proves I'm mentally ill. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> My, my depression and anxiety skyrocket on that app, godforsaken app. Okay, I, you know what, I couldn't agree with you more, John, by the way, but found the cure to depression, and it is the Britney Spears Year 2000 Hawaii Concert Live Tour. There is nothing like it. It's 43 minutes long. I play it as I work out. I've got the girls, we're in the gym, we're working out, watching it on TV. It is, yes. it is literally the cure to depression, I swear to God. It does something to it you. It does something to you, and it really has just shifted everything in my life. Like, yes, I've been reading a lot of great books recently. Okay. Sad and I have both read two books in the past two days, and it's, it's been very good for my mental health, but I'm telling you, it's a Britney Spears YouTube video, I swear to God. I can see that. I for me, it's different. For you, it's that. Oh, really? For you, what is it? Is we appropriate <laughs> to say on here? I don't. Did she say that? Yeah. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. We. By the way, I saw your TikTok is blowing up a little bit. You're getting I, a little traction on that one. Not enough. I, I didn't even notice. I didn't even <laughs> okay, plans and predictions for hot girl summer. And here's the thing, I will say this about myself. I'm really interesting with how my plans for hot girl summer go because I am on two completely opposing ends. On one end, I have no interest in a boy even talking to me. I only use them for something like whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, just keep them like arm's length away. I'm with my friends. I, by the way, I'm like, oh my God, I don't meet anyone when I'm out. What, tell me why we left the pregame at my house with nine boys and one girl the other night. No why one. do you think I never find guys when I go out? Because I literally, literally only Literally, all the guys, I'm with all five of them outside until 2 a.m. the other night. I can't even, like, I literally yeah. can't even talk. But that is my point. I would actually rather be with my friends. I don't really want to meet someone. So anyways, I'm, like, you know, working on myself, having a great time with my friends, just don't care at all. And on the other side, I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should have fun being single in the way of, like, you know, meeting people and blah, blah, blah. And, like... I am on two polar opposite ends and I can't really decide. And today I thought, you know what, that really isn't me. But do I want to make it me? You know what I mean? Yes. So I will say before we get into these predictions that I am, I am a wild card. You never know what you're going to get and it really changes day by day. Because right now I've been reading a lot in the past two days and I'm way more chill, introspective, growing. But like you never know. Friday comes along and I'm crazy. That's what I'm saying. I think we're what we would call weekend warriors. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Weekend, warriors, weekend sure. warriors. You know, during during the week we take care of business. We got bills to pay. You we know. hibernate. We, we got to take care of ourselves. You know, we get our nails done. We might not wear makeup every day. But come the weekend, come Friday, strike the clock. I'm sending out maybe one email and I'm prepping for what is to come yeah that's very fits fair i i think that we need an austin weekend for sure for the guys I agree. um 
couldn't agree more with myself, honestly. Yeah, I didn't really need to agree. Nothing's changed um, here. Business as usual. So, I've been thinking, and I I think I have a few predictions. Um, okay. I want to stay mentally stable, first of all. Okay. <laughs> that, that's your prediction <laughs> that's, for yourself. That's, that's one. I have okay. a couple. That's um, fair. So, also, I really just want to focus on me. She just wrote these in this notes. I mean, <laughs> Maddie, that's so cute. I mean, these are hot girl um, summer aspirations. Yeah, yeah these are goals for hot girl summer. Aspirations. Okay. So, yeah. I want to focus on me, me, and, you know, me. But uh-huh. It's solely going to be about just me. Okay. And mm. if there's a guy that comes in the mix and I may like him, I'm going to keep him on the sideline because Until August 15th. I might recheck yes. my mental health mm-hmm. in August. And August 15th, I've had Depending that on mm. what the scale looks like, where I'm at on the spectrum, there could be room for a potential boyfriend. Maybe. I mean, okay. uh, this is me. Uh, this is really bold of me to say. And this is just, to be clear... We could completely disagree with every single thing that we say on this yeah. podcast. Yeah, by next month. check me in a month. Um, yeah. But honestly, morally, my goal for the summer is just me. Maddie, I actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Thank you. I think that was beautiful. Really well said. I, too, am focusing on myself and my friends. I am planning on having a very fun summer. In all seriousness, I my therapist has recently pointed out amongst actually many mentors and Our parents and my friends and actually our aunt and uncle as well have all told me this, that I've never sat back and just enjoyed what I've built. I've never sat back and just reaped the benefits and had a good life because I'm always focused on working to the next thing. That's true. And you want to know what? I have actually sat back and enjoyed that for you. So thank you. (laughs) Um, You know what? We'll get to that later on the episode. Um, So I've decided I really just want to enjoy myself this summer. I want to hang out with my friends that I have like grown up with and like we're finally all living in the same city. I'm having a really good time. I don't see myself having any sort of interest in a male entering my life. I hate myself for saying this because I can already see the TikTok two months from now where it's like this is me saying that and then Maddie like, you know, stitches it with something else. But I cannot wait Anyways, to exploit her new relationship I- because every time I get more clout. <clears throat> Okay, so I just don't see that happening. Okay. I think come August 15th, things could change. Kinsey, I'm not saying August. I'm not saying September. Anytime you ever get a relationship, I will be exploiting. But I think I'm really taking myself out of the game for the time being. I think you're saying this, but my prediction is Kenzie's going to be the first one out. Okay, you know really? what? That's so... You know what, Dom? Do you want to know what's weird about this? And I don't want a relationship at all. Like, we... I think we know this. <laughs> Again, mentally unstable. But I kind of think it might be me. I think... That's what I... I, I, I don't, don't think it is. And do you want me to tell you... Don't we explain to you why? Yeah. Because you only entertain people that you will never actually date. <gasps> and I don't think it is... Well, it, because why would I want to entertain people that I actually care about? Um, you were just telling me that I guess I'm not going to be next. No, Maddie, honestly, I really don't think that you're going to date anyone. Okay, so am I just, like, I just, random question here. Mm -hmm. Um, both of them asking, am I going to be single for the rest of my life? (laughs) (laughs) No, but I think that you have at least until you're 22. Yeah, I mean, I would agree, um, (laughs) try not to cry. (laughs) This comes from a girl who literally would rather, like, <gasps> run five miles a day and okay, jump off saw, of my rooftop before she would be in a relationship. I saw some quote yesterday, and it really hit me hard. I wish I could find it. Um, but it basically said something like, if you're, if you're hurting, you're, like, guarded and, like, ew, get away. But if you're healed, like, and, you're, and your heart is closed. But, like, if you're healed... You're like, I guess, open for opportunity or something, and like, it just really hit. In in what way? I'm and curious. I thought I was healed. Uh huh. I, I don't know where you got that idea from. Well, at this point, I've done everything I can. So how do you? <laughs> you know, Maddie, we'll talk about this off off. Okay. That's we'll another podcast. Mic. Yeah, that's another <laughs> podcast. What are your aspirations for Hot Girl Summer? My aspirations for Hot Girl Summer is really just to be an absolute healthy slower yeah and by healthy slower in every way in every way i mean i will just be absolutely acting a whole entire fool in a very healthy manner completely agree you won't see me out here embarrassing myself making myself bobo the fool a clown no none of that but I will be slurring out in every healthy way. And by that, I mean I will be paying for no meals. 
I will be um, paying for no drinks. I will just, the only thing I'm charging my card to do is for my nails, my lashes, and my hair, and some clothes. That is it. That is it. That is the only aspiration I have for this summer. We can't love about Amazon, Amazon, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's really fair. Yes. Um, okay guys, hot girl summer predictions. You have to answer this really quickly. Who breaks first? Kenzie. I guess Kenzie, honestly. Like, ah, no, no, Dom. Honestly. Yeah, you're the one who has a date this week. She's the one on the track. I know. The you're low key, though. That's but I'm thing. like four deep, and any of these fools can be dropped with it. I'm one ick away from dropping any of these fools. I mean, that's just the daily thing. Like, you, you <laughs> drop one, the next day you pick one up. Like, it just happens. This is good, Maddie. I, I didn't take classes from her. I mean, at one point, I'm not trying to brag or <laughs> but I that. had literally a team. I mean, a team. It could have been like the offense of basketball. I had like seven mm. guys. Is there seven people on offense? I don't fucking know. But like, I think, um, like, I think it was like almost a like a basketball team. Like seven people. Like I was thriving, and then I broke my leg. <laughs> but still, you know, yeah. Okay. There's potential here. There's potential. Okay, so who falls in love first? Kenzie. I'd say Kenzie. This is I'm so, so unbelievably different. I'm kind of the same. You know, no, you, she low key is because. One you, time! One time! Six to months happen. ago, six months, a, a year ago, if you would have asked me this a year ago, I would have been the same. I would have been the one. Like, I'm just. I, I've, I've had a spiritual change. And. You know what? I actually think that I have changed in the. Honestly, specifically 2021, and I think by the end of the summer, I'll be a completely different person now that I'm, I'm looking at this question that's coming up. Um, but I actually am changing in every single regard. Like everything about me has changed. Yeah, perfect. You don't have to change. It's not that I didn't like myself before. It's just that I'm growing up, and like as you grow up, things change. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Maybe I just was on a faster pace than you. No, Maddie, I hit all of a sudden. You did now at 17, and then I changed, and then I went back. You know. Anyways, I hope you didn't do that at 17. <laughs> okay, so who goes out the most this summer? Um. Kenzie. I'm Kenzie or I? Because like I'm. It depends on your mood, summer. Mrs. I don't leave the house anymore. Yeah, low key. Though. Guys, we were talking about this a few months ago. I was like, I don't know if I want to date this guy. Like he goes out all the time. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I by far go out more than him. I'm sure now at this point. Okay, who gives their ex the most chances in summer 2021? Oh, it's, <laughs> okay. No, you're it's Maddie. Yeah, Wait, no, it's Maddie. Who goes on the most dates? Dom. No, no, no. Hold on. I don't have. I don't talk to any of my exes. I cut that one off. Yesterday, he yeah, maybe. If you ever, ever, ever refer to him as an ex of mine again, oh, uh, we never dated. Dang. So, so y'all, you know what? Let's talk about that. Hot girl summer. Uh, talking and dating, they're just two different things. Not like, when it's lasted for close to half a year. I no, mean, it's oh, that is so. And you have to. You know what? What classifies it as? As you've had to break up with him and end it multiple times, including me. Yeah, including other people who had to get involved. Okay. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna say that. I will never ever say that we dated because we didn't. But I will say I did have to break something off for whatever he thought it was going because okay. we won't even yeah, get into two different mindset. We won't even get into that. But, but I, I don't. I don't do my. I don't do exes anymore. We all learned our lesson from that one. No, I think it's still you. Who gets back with an ex? Maddie? Maddie. Kenzie. That's Kenzie. so, Kenzie. again, I don't really think it's cool. Low key though, I it's Kenzie. not. Kenzie. Okay. Bro. <laughs> it's not me. Bro. bro, yes it is though. It's like, it's oh, only if it's, 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 it's <laughs> only if it's, oh, <laughs> one specific that I'm thinking of. That would just message me. Okay, I, I could go for three of them. I could go for the first, the first like, kind of, Pretty official one and then the last First pretty official one Okay, we're not going there. Okay. So anyways, Maddie is literally trying to sing right now my ex-boyfriend's <laughs> songs on this podcast New York. Damn. Do you know who that is? Okay, okay. Girl. Do you guys have like certain social media for certain guys? Like you know how I keep snapchat like solely because of one boy oh, or two boys in my No, 
No, I'm good. I, no, I don't get any. It's I'm dry. That, I'm very dry. No, but like, if you're posting, do you go on one social media and then there's like one person that you pay attention to on that like social media? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, like, like I would have deleted the Snapchat off like, my phone years ago. Yes, I do understand what you're saying. Um, there's just no but one. As I'm, as I'm clearly looking at a blank wall, not a single person comes up. So, um, yeah. I got it. Okay, I mean, things will get better for you. Mm. Actually, I went on my hair Instagram the other day, and it said, um, people, we suggest you may block from Facebook. And I saw the suggestions, and you agreed. I, well, I started laughing because there was a lot of them. <laughs> um, and I was like, <laughs> that makes sense. Earlier today, Maddie was telling us about this boy on Hinge, and she was just like, mm. oh my gosh, he's like so cute. He's just my type. And Let's that exactly, really, like, I've checked probably five times in the past two days, and I never, I've never done this in my life. If, if this Hinge boy replied, because, like, he just had such a substantial. Like, Read off his profile. Tell us what you like about him. Because I'm, um, I'm okay. Worried when well, you say he's your type. Oh, actually, wait. I slid in first, y'all. Oh. Whoa. 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 So Whoa. I sent him that, like, so that. I think he was on my hearted thing because that's the only like thing I'll go through if they liked me because I'm just like a nurse. I don't know what to call me. But, I, um, I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Um, but then he invited me to start the chat and I said no What's sir. that about by the way? I don't know. I don't really understand that. Yeah, but then yeah. I didn't and then he messaged me a couple hours later and said drop out of school and marry me. Like I'm not in school but let's go. <laughs> um, I will quit my job any day. Um, Such a beautiful offer. And like he Whoa. just looks so my type. Like big muscles, Rose red flag. flags, um, beer. Um, yeah. So yeah. it really You need someone who can keep up with the family. Like they have to be a drinker. Keep up with the family. Like, That's he looks so cute. Girl. What? I mean he, he is cute. Like why does it Do you know about the so boy, good. the so my good. boy from my one hour stint on Hinge? No, I, you don't tell me about your Hinge. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me tell you the story. I'll share the story with you. So the night that we made Hinge at dinner, like months ago, when yeah. I, I met a different boy that night. So yeah, you did tell me about him. So we met him. okay, wait, listen to this, listen to this. So we met on Hinge. Well he we like matched on Hinge, that was like literally the extent of it. And guys, when do I ever say someone's hot? Never. never. Ever. I'm never like, oh my god, he's so hot. That's never. true. Doesn't happen. No, this guy is like so beautiful. And you know what the most beautiful thing about him is? Is that we have no mutuals. That is like the best thing that I've ever seen. And let me add, if they have close to like less than 300 followers, marry him. Yeah, I couldn't agree with that more. Under a thousand. Under a thousand, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. So he messaged me on Hinge, but I deleted my Hinge at that point because I was like, I'm over this already. Yeah. I'm over it. You know how you get on Hinge for like 30 minutes and that's it? Yes. So I get on Hinge. Um, about three and a half months later, three months after this, right? And I noticed that he had messaged me and then I want to die because it's been three and a half months at this point. So I was like, I literally hate my life. Wait, that's the best way to do it. You make them wait. I, I mean, I don't know, but here's the thing. I don't know if I, that's the toxic in me. It <laughs> is, but here's also the thing is that I don't think that, like I delete hand off my phone for like months and months, right? So then I'm on the phone with Emily and I'm telling her, I'm like, this guy is so hot. Like, what do I do? And she's like, just follow him on Instagram. So I was like, fuck it, I don't care. I'll follow him on Instagram if there's nothing that I can lose from the situation. And I followed him, he follows him back immediately and um, watches all my stories and never DMs me. So I actually want to die. I, I, told Kenzie, slide I told Kenzie the only thing she has to do is just swipe up on a story. He goes to all yeah. the And you, you don't even have to say anything, just react. He was to at it. Katie the night that I was at Katie. I saw you need to just react to a story. Also, I don't know if you guys want me to share these. I have two like kind of funny stories. I, I just don't know. One of them, so I was on Hinge one day, and there was this guy, and like, I'm not gonna lie, like, he wasn't really my type. He he was I, like, just really, like, <laughs> you know, not someone I would actually check on, right? But his slide in was his his credit card number. And oh, <laughs> I know this. That is the only way you can the contact only, me. But this wait, and it's listen not real. what this guy did to me. As I am literally trying you to order else. furniture for my new house on this man's so-called credit card he sent me a fake credit card a fake card i was like and i even went <laughs> shit back and i was like you go like the cvb doesn't work get up <laughs> yeah but also um that's also note, probably dangerous because you could maybe get your address from that that's true and i'm actually you know don't do that girls i guess i don't know so let's slide into buying instagram followers mm. how do you guys feel about Buying Instagram. Ew, that's yeah. so gross. Ew, first wow. of all. 
But second of all, if it's a guy, oh that's my so god, much worse. So ghetto like, atrocities. Ghetto atrocities. Okay, and then also this man's put himself under a business as a public figure. Get me on. And here. he bought followers. So I mean, I'm the psycho that figured this out because you know girls are stalkers. So no, like, but it's I also really profile. obvious. Yeah. So this is last summer. I met him off Bumble. Like. Waited like six months for him to meet me because I'm just like that and I don't like Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You know after. that this guy. This is after. But so long story short, we start talking. We actually liked each other, you know, moved on. I've told the story about him before. So then after we stopped talking, you know, me with my toxicity on and off, on and off for a little while. So as we're on and off, on and off, I'm checking his Instagram because like any girl does that. I don't lie. Um... <laughs> And I noticed, like, every couple times, he gained literally a thousand followers. And this man, when we started talking, had 3,500 followers, and now he has, like, or it was 25, now he has, like, 6,500 followers. He literally would buy followers thousands of times, and then, like, his likes, too. Almost sure he buys likes, because I even went through his likes one time, because I they're noticed bots. it. And they're bots. That I was like, that's so embarrassing. embarrassing. So, so embarrassing. That is... Unbelievable. And this, this man has a girlfriend now and is still trying to slide in my DMs. And I messaged him. He was like, why? He was like, oh, you're so cool. Always trying to slide in my DMs now. I was like, I was like, oh, no. Like, you have a girlfriend now. And I was just trying to be respectful. Wish you the best. Like, hope you're doing well. And he said, K. And I was like, K. He, he said, said K. K. He I said was K. like, K. yeah. He's a Oh, wow. I'm I'm like, I have questions for you. Have you ever heard of the no contact rule? Yeah. You know, I, I know for a fact that you don't know about the no contact rule. So you don't talk to them after you break up? Yeah. I know. Trust me. I mean, it really just depends on the one. Like, you've heard of it. You, you I've done it. Well, I've, 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 it. I've done it. For how long? I mean, no, long story short, you've never done the no contact rule. I've done it up. once and it took me seven years to do it. I mean, okay, I don't talk to any of my exes I mean, now. you're only 21, Maddie. Like, you, there, you, yeah. You got a yeah. life to live. You've got a life to live. You know what I was thinking about? The fact that being 23 is so young today. Like, so young. It really hit me. Yeah. I'll definitely go on a Republican's vote this summer. <laughs> I'll lie. <laughs> I'll lie and say I'm Republican to go on the vote. I'll lie. I don't care. Yeah. Who'd you vote for, Trump? <laughs> Can I go on your boat? <laughs> Trump flag is literally waving yeah. in the air. I'm just like, I don't care. Like your ass. I'll rob you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Not the day, I will light your flag on fire. I will literally rob you blind. <laughs> like, I don't care. Maddie, I'm curious. Like, do you want to elaborate a little bit more on how you have, I don't want to say transition, because transition would not necessarily be the right word, because I don't think this is something you haven't done in the past, but how you have learn to leverage my personal life for your own benefits and clout. So y'all, you know, this is a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. Yeah. It's a lot of sitting back and watching your sister do all the work for you, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I, I just really, um, I think it's quite beautiful that God gave me this gift of manipulation. I feel like Charlie. Like, Dixie and Charlie. Like, she... You're Dixie, I'm Charlie. Yeah. Like, Dixie was like, ha ha, I'm only famous because my sister dances. Like, I'm not famous. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, it's just the same vibes. Like, Charlie did all... Or, Dixie did all the work. Charlie just, like... No, hey, Charlie over. did all the work. Dixie. Yeah. Charlie's you know, they're the same person. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, but, like, I think it's kind of like that. You want to um, be the Dixie to my Charlie. I, I am the Dixie, okay. and I actually, um, I have a few things coming up that you don't even know about. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. So, long story short. I'm coming soon. Okay, so a few months ago, I was seeing this guy, right? Maddie takes a photo of us. It's a cute photo, or credit, credit to a great guy, right? And we're kissing on this rooftop, and Maddie posted to her Instagram story at 2 in the morning. I'm I also was a little bit tipsy, might I add. I also really, for now, I'm pretty like private about this stuff. Like I'm not posting this, whatever. So Maddie takes it a bit in there, and I personally, I thought it was time. <laughs> you did, okay. I think I wanted this more than she did, but it's fine. Probably. So, anyways, the photos posted, whatever. Um, we all come back to my house. We wake up the next morning, 8 a.m. There's a bunch of people over here. And more importantly, I wake up to a lot of DMs from people. So I guess when Maddie posted this photo, we didn't even think about this. 
Um, another ex-boyfriend of mine goes and unfollows the whole family, the entire family, all He's seven the siblings, the dog that the I, dog. I don't run the Instagram account, the um, dog's Instagram that he ran, grandparents, parents, and also listen, listen, hear me when I say I totally understand unfollowing. I no part of me thinks that I, like I don't think it's petty to unfollow your ex. I'm like go for it, whatever. But just like don't give specifically Maddie Piper the validation of knowing that she caused for all of that to happen. I just want to like bow down. Because <laughs> you guys don't understand. Like when I woke up the next day, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't have the 100% memory of posting it. I woke up and I was like, look at you, Maddie, at it again. Like, come on, baby. So it's like drunk me was like thinking about business years down the road. You're so talented. And so I just talented. want to thank her because it's almost as if she does better than sober Maddie sometimes. Yeah, you I know? agree with that. Taking clout from my sister, mm -hmm. um, yes. exploiting her relationship mm -hmm. that she wanted to keep private. Yeah. Why let her live that way? Uh huh. Yes. So, how do you think I should live while we're at this? I think I should be your manager. 